Governor Walker will greet the president when he arrives in Milwaukee tomorrow morning, but he wants to talk about propane, not politics. Charles Benson talked with the governor tonight. Charles? Yeah, Governor Walker lists that the state's propane needs in this letter to the president today. Walker plans to bring it up again tomorrow during a brief meet and greet photo op when the president steps off Air Force One. Uh, we've been doing a lot of work on propane. The propane gas shortage has hit homeowners harder than a cold shower this winter. They're paying hundreds of dollars more to stay warm as the cost of refilling their tanks climbs to five or more dollars a gallon. That's nearly double from the beginning of winter. But can he do something to change the situation in the next 48, 72 hours? I, I think so, but it's not, again, I stress it's not one silver bolt, there's not one thing. The governor's letter requests federal help to move more propane by rail, ship, or pipeline by easing regulatory barriers and freeing up federal loans to help homeowners and distributors pay those budget-breaking prices. This is one of those where opportunities like this are great because the president's the president, I'm the governor, we're not there as party officials, we're there as people with a shared constituency and I think they're going to be receptive to it. Walker wouldn't bite on questions about Democratic opponent Mary Burke's busy schedule preventing her from spending time with President Obama, but he believes Waukesha Mayor Jeff Screma is making a mistake by skipping the president's stop in Waukesha. The mayor's missed an opportunity uh, because you don't have to be there to support everything, but you should be there on behalf of your constituency. Now, the main reason for President Obama's visit to a Waukesha plant is to talk about jobs, the economy, and themes from his State of the Union speech. Mike and Carol. All right, thank you, Charles.